Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have another canteen review for you. Now, if you've been watching any of my stuff on my channel, uh, you'll know that I really, really like Portuguese stuff. Um, lots of people ask me that, and I'm like, well, because Germany, France, you know, Poland, all them countries are way overdone historically, but people don't understand how prevalent Portugal was on the world stage for so incredibly long and um, I really like Portugal for that. They really flew under the radar but they had a, a lot more power than people give them credit for. Um, with an empire reaching just as many corners of the globe as as England at one point. So as for as small as they are and as little as they're studied or known, uh, I think that's pretty cool. And I just, I really like Portugal because it's like the best mashup of, you know, Spain, France, and a bunch of other countries. And I really like mashup countries. And I like Portugal because I've, I've been there. And it's like going to Europe. But the thing is, being from North America, people don't, don't hate us in Portugal because nobody thinks to really go to Portugal. But, um, I really, really like Portugal. I probably am going to go back a lot. I really, I really like, um, Madeira Island. I have that off the coast of Africa. It's awesome. Um, their airport's really cool if you get the chance to look it up. Um, <laughs> so, um, but what we got here today, uh, after getting sidetracked there is a, a Portuguese, uh, canteen. And this is like the World War II style post World War II style. And this is actually a new surplus. Um, this canteen is unused. Now, um, it's seen better days. Um, it's had some, some problems with it. Um, obviously, uh, the cover, uh, the wool cover is kind of worn through in spots and picked over, but there's not any rust on it. And, um, the snaps are all in place and, uh, but some of the stuff has just pulled apart and it's, it's okay. It's, it's worked out for it. Uh, this canteen is still new and I'm still very, very happy to have it. Um, so this would be like the World War II style uh, Portuguese army canteen um, up until they really adopted the, the plastic M1910 style of canteen. So here we have um, the, uh, so the cover, uh, we'll get into the cover first once I get all the pieces apart here. All right, so the cover is kind of like your, your traditional normal held in place with snaps um kind of a like canvas lined uh kind of like a nylonish canvas uh it's got some really uh cheap snaps on it they don't hold very well um but um they they accomplish their job now the wool on it is pretty nice quality wool. It's just really, really old. The leather on it is actually pretty nice quality leather. Um, it's not too dry. It is pretty dry, so I'll probably put some leather dressing on it because I don't want the leather to degrade. But if you see when I, when I flex it here, um, some cracks do appear, um, which isn't good for the leather. Um, that means it's really dry and um, I don't want to squish it any more than that because I'll probably snap the leather in half. So I want to get some leather dressing on it, rehydrate this, bring it back a little bit. Um, but the canteen itself, all right, is about a one quart size, a little bit more than that. It's an enamel. Uh, it just has a simple cork stop on it. Um, it's, an, it's an enameled uh, canteen. So it's a uh, metal dapped, uh, dipped in porcelain. Uh, I'm guessing it's like a raw steel uh, dipped in porcelain um, to keep it from rusting, uh, which is kind of a problem because if you um, were to like chip off some of the porcelain, the canteen would eventually start to rust uh, and everything like that, um, which is very bad. Uh, the, the U.S. experimented with that during World War II. The Germans experimented with it during World War II, and it, it realized that it just doesn't really hold up. Um, so, but, uh, it's a very clean, uh, canteen. As you can see, it's green. Um, it's a porcelain, uh, coating over the metal. Um, it's got some stuff there on the, uh, just on the inside. I'm guessing that's from the cork, because this has probably been sitting for forever. Um, but I, I haven't used this canteen yet, but I'm, I'm, uh, really don't want to use it, because it's in such nice condition, and I don't want to 
cause any problems with it. Um, but I, I really like Portuguese stuff, and there's a few of these out there, but I haven't ever seen one in this nice a condition. It seems to just be your basic run-of-the-mill kind of canteen that a lot of countries had uh, at the time, something like this. Um, so here's the cup. It's just a simple aluminum cup. It's oval-shaped. Uh, it doesn't have any handles on it. It has two brackets for the... Um, uh, strap to route through and then there's the uh, thing on the stand it says a uh, Sandrino um, I'll zoom get get a little closer here for you so you can see it there you go Portugal right there so um, it's it's uh, these aren't super common on the market nowadays and um, I don't know a whole lot about them I don't know when they really came uh, what year they started to be used, um, what year they were phased out, but I know these were pretty much used until uh, they either got uh, surplus canteens from other countries after World War II or until they adopt, adopted their, their M1910 style canteen in the like 60s uh, for the African Wars, so their, their green plastic one. But um, hopefully uh, if you guys have any, I know some of you out there that... Um, are just like me and are from Portugal or really, really like Portuguese stuff. Uh, you probably know more about this than I do, and I would very much like to hear some information about this canteen in the comments. Um, so if you have any additional information, I'd very, very much like to know more because I, I have no idea what the designation of this canteen is. Um, so I, I can't really do any homework on it. I've tried pretty, pretty general um, lookups on this, but it, it never comes out to be this canteen. So... Uh, if you have any information or have any sites um, or anything like that, link that in the comments. I'd love to read about this. Uh, if you have any additional information uh, to save me from reading or anything like that and to give other people some knowledge on this canteen, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. I would very, very much appreciate it. So, um, But until then, uh, I'm going to probably keep making videos here while i got a few hours waiting for trucks at work. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.